six, a helping hand with your land. Neil from Essex here today's Three Minute Thursday. When you walk into an equipment dealership and you look at their selection of greases, you might be pretty overwhelmed with the amount of options that you see. So today we're gonna to have a short conversation about the different types of grease and what their best applications are. Kind of your entry level grease or your most basic grease that you'll find is often called Molly or Molly Lithium grease. Uh, this is a fairly inexpensive grease that's really best suited for things like moving joints. Uh, think your loader and backhoe pins and those kinds of things. Molly grease is not a high temperature grease, it's just a good quality grease that's made for those moving joints. When you step out of Molly and you kind of move to your next step up, you're gonna to go to a polyurea or like a multi-purpose grease. And what you're moving to when you take that first step up is something that's a little bit more high temperature. Uh, you think you wanna move into a high temp grease when you start looking at applications like uh, spindles and rotating groups and that kind of stuff, things are gonna get hot. This type of grease is gonna hold up a little bit better for your more high temperature applications. It's not gonna break down as quickly. It's gonna last longer in those spindles and the prolong the life of those components. Uh, many guys will typically buy just high temp grease for everything. It's not that much more expensive than a little cheaper Molly. In, in our case, like 25 cents or so. It is absolutely fine to use high temp grease on loader and backhoe pins and that kind of thing. So if you wanna keep one grease in your garage, the best choice is that polyurea multi multi-purpose or high temp grease. There is some uh, synthetic greases available as well. Um, these are gonna take a pretty big price jump. A tube of synthetic grease is almost triple that of a normal grease. What the synthetics are gonna give you is a little bit better wear time. So a synthetic grease can last in that joint about three or four times as long as what a petroleum-based grease does. Um, it's also offered for places where you're, you're in a livestock environment or a food grade environment and you're concerned about contaminants and stuff into whatever product is that you're producing. This stuff is really used for that as well. Um, but we're really typically looking for synthetics uh, because of that longer lasting property. So you can kind of classify greases into kind of your, your typical tubes that are going to go into your regular grease guns for maintaining your equipment, but then also some specialty greases as well. Uh, we don't always necessarily know the formulations of every one of these things. They probably are very similar to the other greases that we offer, um, but there are certain ones that you're going to see that are made for particular gearboxes and particular applications. Uh, that are maybe are gonna have some different mixes to it. You know, this one right here, when we look inside of it, it almost looks like a gear oil. It's a grease, but it's a, a has a smell and a look of a gear oil. Um, there's also uh, high impact greases as well. This is a grease that's specifically made for construction hammers and that kind of stuff where that grease is being pounded upon and it's probably formulated in a way to stick together. So um, these are going to be really for specialty applications. Obviously you don't want to take a tube of chisel paste and start pumping it into your loader. So uh, there are really typically markings on these that make it very clear that they're for specific applications and they, they take up a fair chunk of our shelf space here. But you're not going to see these used for normal typical applications. You kind of skip over these unless you know exactly what you're buying. When you're putting grease in your equipment, it's best not to be switching types back and forth. These things often don't blend well together. So go with something, you know, typically a good high temp, and just stick with it. So uh, every one of us will tell you, you know, this is stuff prolongs the life of your equipment in significant ways. You can't understate the importance of greasing your equipment, particularly your loaders and backhoes or any kind of moving things. Um, even after low numbers of hours, we can go around and grab joints and wiggle pins and that kind of stuff and tell the customers who have greased their equipment and those that have not. So if you're in the market for a piece of equipment, we can help. Give us a call at Messix. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at messix.com.